Hey guys and welcome, my name's NG Paradox and welcome back to Narbonne where our power base has grown pretty well over the last few parts but we just haven't been able to make it onto the next level there's no way for us to really make it to that part with us being friends with uh, the Duke but that's good, that means we're safe I and mean, obviously he's not exactly healthy like me then again he's had some successful experimental treatments so maybe he'll be okay and his second son is actually attractive well isn't that lovely no diseases as far as I can tell. Seems like everyone's doing pretty well when it comes to diseases. Keeping them at bay. A lot of smallpox over down here in like Egypt and stuff. What about in uh, India? Camp fever. So camp fever off there in India. The Bajanids. Kazaria still fighting amongst itself but pretty big. The lead of Khazari is done pretty well. Hopefully maybe one day he'll settle and maybe invade the Byzantine Empire. That'd be kind of fun to see. Always love to see random stuff happen. Just makes every time you play a little bit different. Uh, who is the heir to the king? King Pepin, who is the heir? Oh, you're one-legged. Ooh, what the heck? In this wars, apparently, he lost one of his legs. But his heir is his son, Prince Thierry. 15 years old. Um, chased, craven, charitable. Ugh, he's not a great man, is he? Homosexual. Married, though, to one of the daughters, no, the sisters of the King of Lombardy. So the Lombardies um, and the Carlins have got quite a big relationship there. My lover just broke up with me. Apparently, her jazz husband confronted her about the affair. I don't think that son's mine, sadly. That accursed blackguard. So apparently he found out. I mean, I took his, I took his lands. And I took his wife, so you know, win-win. I think we, I think we won. Two-nil. The kingdom of uh, Middle Frank is now the primary title. Okay, the Pope has been succeeded. There is a new Pope, uh, Palazier. But apparently he has no family. Cardinal. Uh, Verdun Verdunian peasant revolt. Okay, a bit of peasant revolts going on. Nothing to be concerned about, though. The king will deal with these peasants. He'll deal with them like he always does. The Umiads have this piece of land. I noticed that a while ago, but I didn't really mention it. Kind of annoying. They've already got a piece of land in Brittany. As he has grown older, I could see that Peligio could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. I will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Peligio. Now, he's not really my son. Ooh. Ooh, his parents both died. Of cancer. Both of them are cancer? Ah, oh, you poor kid. Wow. Um, but I'm, I'm slothful. I really... I, I don't want to go out my way. He deserves greatness. Nah. Be firm. Make others count on you. Make your move at the right time. He must learn his own. Yeah, I, I'm a... Uh, I'm slothful. I don't care to really help. <laughs> I feel so bad. Yes, the daughter's now not ill anymore. We'll be still good to marry even if she has two brothers. It would make sure that we cement our relationship with the family of Toulouse. My son's wife is pregnant again. My first son's done a pretty good job so far. I'm pretty happy with him. I don't think the Lord minds. Yeah, I fell asleep during the sermon, the sermon apparently. He is upset about my falling asleep. I'm just going to ignore him. I'm the count, damn it. I'm the count of four places. Both of those are almost exactly the same. That'd be very confusing. We've got raiders apparently coming down. Damn Vikings. It's still the Viking Age. In fact, we're only in 804. We've not really gone very far at all when it comes to the time period. Less of Poland. Bohemia actually has the lands up here as well. I think he invaded them. Yeah, I think he controlled Sorbian. He invaded Bohemia and he won. Yeah, that's probably what happened there, actually. So the Slavics control... Let's see what the religions are like. So we can see here. Slavic controls this. Romova. Uh, Sumanisco is doing quite well, actually. Study the world dancing religion. The more I feel compelled to embrace it and to show you the wisdom um, that lies in these texts. Wow, okay. So apparently my court physician believes in Waldensian. I think... Yeah, there's no reason, I think, for me to believe that. Uh, he's mad arrest him, yeah. I I'm kind of angry that he try and push his own ideas upon me. So I'm going to say he's mad arrest him. So we lost our physician. But that's what happens to happen sometimes. 
Uh, we got this guy, the genius he can be. He's probably better, actually. Research cultural tech. Sunnies. There's a bit of Catholic still left from the Visigothic people that used to live there. Orthodox is getting small. So Astrian. Zunis is still down here. Okay. Just having a quick look around. We need a new court physician. He can be at 21. I mean, the, the court physician last time actually did do a, quite a good job. Has to be said. He actually did a pretty good job. He did help, like, my cancer. Which is a pretty big thing. I, I wasn't sure if we were able to handle that. But what? Is this... Um, ransomed. What just happened? We have war. Umid holy war for Gascoigne. <gasps> so it finally begins. The Umid's... Versus Middle Frank. This is the big time. Now, Gascoigne, luckily, is not my lands. But yeah, I don't think uh, Duke Shimano would like to lose these. He's Basque culture. 10,000 men. Sultan Abd al-Rahman Umayyad. So his grandfather died, and I think he inherited. He's a son. He's pretty good, actually. His son's pretty good overall, actually. That's, that's actually really good. But what about us? We have 8,000 men. Pepin, you're going to need to get some allies. Definitely. Thierry's not looking so good. He looks a bit frail, a bit weak. Yeah, he's called in Lombardy. 4,000 men. That could be what wins it for us. But this is bad. This is the big war. This could decide how the future goes. If we win this, this could start a reconquest against the Umyads. If the Umyads win, this could begin a slow invasion from the Muslim powers of Iberia. There's no man better in increasing the church's opinion of me or teach me to become a more pious man than my court chaplain, the Bishop Gundamar. I need you to talk to the church, Bishop. Teach me to be a pious man. I need him to talk to them, yeah. I'm too lazy to try and do things myself. I have a bloody lot of money right now. How many men do you have, Vutard? 2,000 men, that's, that's pretty good. She has one family. She's pregnant. She's got chest pains. Now I could try and buy... The favor. Let's buy the favor. I guess it could come in handy at some point, even if we don't use it right now. We're also going to build something here. A keep, maybe? Keep costs quite a lot. Did I just. I thought I just bought a favor. Oh, he didn't. He hasn't accepted. Okay, that's why. Okay, we'll wait for that to be accepted then. I thought I just did it for you. I generously accept your gifts. There we go. He's now accepted my favor. I now have a favor with him. Transfer vassalage. Resign as commander. Break non-aggression pact. Okay. I could seduce her, actually. Hmm. Ask the press claims. Yeah. This calls in the favor to ask your leisure to declare war and pledge your claims. Yes. So there we go. He would do it. And Provence is a pretty delectable little piece there. But then again, there is this one. This is actually next to the lands I control rather than my son's. This could be better. B has a lot of men. I think Provence is best because there's Visigoths there. I think we might have to do it. That's the press claims. But then again, there is a chance maybe to marry a child. I wonder if... You, I, I guess you can't get matrilineal, can you? Okay, yeah. I was going to say, that'd be ridiculous. I say, I haven't had much chance to look at that feature because I've been playing with other stuff. Usually the mods and whatnot. So I haven't much chance to see that, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll do this then. Let's ask him to press claims. Done. So we've asked him to press claims. Hopefully he pushes it. He'll declare, well, you should have more men. I remember she didn't have many allies. Yeah, she doesn't have any allies to help her, so he should win. So here we go. He's now going to push for my own claims. That's pretty awesome to see. My best friend, Duke Vutard, is going to press my claim against Provence. Not going to get a duchy for ourselves, which is a shame, but at least we'll get something. At least we'll get something. Now, with that done, I'm going to build something for me. What do I want? Castle fortifications, I think, should go up. Do we need more men? We have 1,100. Yeah, we're just going to increase this up. Castle fortifications... Uh, the Mancinian faith triumphant against the Zoroastrian faith. So it's now become the main religion. Okay. Not really much effect to me. What is that? Seek treatment for illness. What? Oh, okay. So at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm now... My sickness has kind of come back. The cure he used last time is not really helping. 
Your court physician is called, yes. Let's bring him in. Your court physician, Bishop, has come to see you and offers treatment. Now, he is a genius, so I would hope he'd know what he's doing here. As long as you know what you're doing. He entered your chambers with an earthenware jar cradled in his arms and came to sit by your bed. He pulled a leech from the jar and gave it the most tender look before carefully placing it on your face. Remain still, my lord. Better not disturb their feeding. I actually feel better. There we go. So again, we actually did pretty good there. Here come the enemy. 4,000 men from the Umyads. What is this, though? 4,000 men as well. This is Hills. 4,000 men. If they can get here in time, they could help out. But they might just be okay. 21st of October. I think he'll be okay. The Duchy of Valais. There we go. So they managed to win the first fight. And that's a big one. That's 4,000 men out of 10,000. That's a big difference. What's my uh, son doing? The Duchy of Almania. Young Peligos finishes education. Ooh. Intricate web weaver. Well, there we go. He did pretty well. He doesn't like me. <laughs> he doesn't like me much, though. We need someone who likes me. My wife is probably the best one. Yeah, she actually likes us. Let's get her to scheme, I think. Just to protect me from any people trying to kill us. Which we know there are definitely people doing that. I think, is, is his grandfather still alive? He is! 71 years old. I mean, I thought with this new DLC, it might end up killing loads of people too much, like the diseases and stuff, but actually it's been pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's not killing people too much, but it adds a little bit of flavor to the diseases and death much more than was before. So I'm pretty happy with that part of the game so far. I was a little bit worried it might just kill off too many people. Steward has seen some interesting ideas to improve the economy. Uh, I guess we might as well adopt them. Has our prosperity increased, did it say? No, it still just means prospering. Can it go up levels? I wonder. I don't know. My daughter has not been herself lately. I've noticed how she has lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently, the underlying cause is cancerous growth, which is sucking her life out. Oh, no. She's just like me. She got cancer. I pray to God she'll recover. Hopefully, our physician can help her. After being skillfully treated by the court physician, my daughter's feeling much better. Oh, there we go. I could compensate him. No, he's merely doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job. We know that. But that's good. So he's, he's done pretty good. He's helped me and my daughter with our cancer. My son, though, has the flu. 22 Marshall right now. I'm liking it. Bago. Oh, he named a child after me. What a good son. She's 13. Just a little bit more. Just a few more years. Three more years. There's now 8,000 men here. I think they defeated the men that were there. What men do you have left? 9,000 men. He does have 9,000 men left. Are these all the... Oh, have they come into here? No, these are other people. So he's actually got a rebellion? No. Lombardy, Count of Leon, and the Count of Bavaria. Yet yeah, we should be winning this, really. We're at minus 6% though. Looks like my liege lord is 36%. So it looks like we're going to win in Provence as well. Thank you so much. This is why you can summon it's good to have a friend as your liege lord. Look what we can do. He had another bloody daughter. But we'll get the weak one. We've got a strong girl. One of my sons is going to marry a strong girl. One's going to marry a weak one. We'll see how that goes, I guess. As she's grown older, I can see that when Dilda, Winnie Dilda, could use some guidance. No, she must learn. Her. The other kid turned out pretty good. I mean, they're not my kids, but the other one turned out pretty good, and I did nothing. There we go, Kazaro. I think they've lost some land down here. Pratara. Yeah, things are kind of normal down there. Not split up anymore. Everything's been the same over in the east. It seems pretty uneventful. What are they doing? Let's find a peasant revolt, but that's it. The Byzantine Empire's not done much either. Holy War for Antioch. Okay. He's closed his gates, actually, as well. Don't think you were not the original Emperor family. The f his father, known as the Terrible, not a good name to have. The hospital in Arbom has seen an increase in the amount of people 
looking for food and shelter lately. It can be barely provide the food required as it is. Perhaps this could be a good opportunity to make an impression. Uh, I shall make preparations at once. My money is better spent elsewhere. Yeah, I feel like he wouldn't... Yeah, he'll, he'll say better spent elsewhere. What's going on? Why is there so many more people, though? No disease. Let's build up our place. Barracks, Castle Town. Should we build up a town here, I guess? Let's build up a town. I think Narbonne should have a nice little town here. Look at this. Yeah, she have a nice little... I think Narbonne is on the sea. It could be a good little hub, maybe. 6,000 men come from over there. Uh, 45%. Can't see us losing this. She has 910 men at the moment. Where's our liege? 2,000 men stood right there. They've come back to take back the lands and hopefully defeat her. 44, 47, 42. Yeah, this one seems like quite a good amount. Prospering. I say, I wonder if those... I, I'm assuming those numbers... Because it says a 1 now. I'm assuming those numbers can go up. Probably that happens more when you go further into the game. Obviously with technology increasing and whatnot. Um, right now we're still pretty early into history. So it would be very unlikely. Denmark. He's a lunatic now. Will he reform the religion? Have to wait and see. Lord Brack. Is it Lord Brack? Lord Brock, sorry. Lord Brock. I was, I was thinking Lord Brack for some reason. But yes, Lord Brock. My work has seemed to come to fruition. <laughs> he always does it. Uh, which place was this? This was this one. Yeah, use it. Yeah, so I can push that one myself, actually. Once this is done, 96%, we'll push this. Actually, I could just probably attack. Uh, young Winnedilda has become a Grey Eminence. She's done pretty good as well. Look at that. See, they don't need me to help them at all. That was ferociously devoured by the Duke. Oh my god. Um, Duke Vutar just ate this man. He has the flu. Severely injured, disfigured. So I'm guessing when he tried to eat him, the guy clawed, you know, maybe they had a fight. We're going to say they, those two had a fight. And he scratched his face. And in revenge, Vutar actually ate him. Crazy cannibal. Oh my god. What are my friends with? I'm friends with a bloody crazy cannibal. But, you know, he throws good pies. Actually, that reminds me, he hasn't thrown a party in a while. That's upsetting. There we go. We got Provence. There we go. Very nice. And we're only one over now, actually. That is perfect. Liking this. Domain is too big. Duchy of Aquitaine. I'm not going to try and take this guy's land. He has 299 men. Not enough to defeat me. And he has no proper allies. So we'll declare war. <laughs> I've basically got everywhere but to lose. At this rate. Jesus. He has 609 men. He's growing. Petru done a pretty good job. I think you've done better than your brother so far. He's been hired by, I think, that is uh, Aquitaine. Was that Aquitaine? The Republic of Venice. Sorry, I just saw a little lime. I did not see those wings. So he's been hired by Venice. Ooh. That's an interesting man to be hired by. Who are they fighting? Tribute. They're attacking Bulgaria to make them do tribute. That's pretty cool. I've never seen Venice do that. That would be awesome. It's just you, yeah? Yeah, you're attacking to make them a tribute. That's really... How many men did they have? 400. Wow, he's seen better days. That's pretty cool to see. During a particularly heated argument in the council, the mayor helped me out. I would have won the argument anyway. Look at my prestige. My prestige is slowly just... Losing all of it. Jesus. Oh well, it's fine. And we'll move up here. Um, Bago will lead the charge. Veromondo, you can take that side. And we have no one else? Really? Why can't we choose someone else? I guess you're busy because you're hurt. So we'll relieve you as commander, I guess. And I'll get uh, Mayor Gerbert. There we go. 14 as well. So there we go. We'll head there. Should be able to defeat them quite easily. They're in the forest, but even that, even if there's a river as well, it shouldn't help them. How many men defend it? 300. 
Yeah, we'll just stay here, take that. Then it'll be done for. How many men do you have? 7,000 men. They should make a pretty good fight against the Umiads. I would like to see us defeat the Umiads, I say, because I want to have an opportunity to fight back, take back the lands of Iberia that were once. You have a new heir. What? My son was gored to death by a boar? No! A Fangildo? What the hell just happened? He's a dr He was a drunkard. Obviously, he basically became Robert Baratheon. The unchaste. What a sad, sad day. His little boy became the Count. He's way too young, only nine years old. Form an alliance. He would say no. Same dynasty reluctance. We want to get him to like us a bit more. We'll do that later. But that is a massive shame. My first son is dead. So my second son is now the heir, Petro the Just. His wife-to-be has become of age. And they got married. Oh, wow. They just got married anyway. Perfect. So we now are married to his daughter. That means his daughter, if he dies, hopefully will get a claim. Or in the future she might get a claim, so we can push that. But that is sad. Title of succession. That will go to Nuno. So our grandson will get Rossello in the end. Ah, this is a sad, that, that's a sad way to have, to have this go. Damn. Did not like that. Should we bring back my heir? Might be a good idea to bring back our heir. We don't want him to die at this rate. He's married to a good girl. I don't know. Would it be a big deal if he died? Because then the son would be strong. And we'll, we'll keep him there. He's the heir. He's going to be in control of the band. If he dies, that would be East Frank. He's created another one. You still only have one son, though, so I guess you're okay. Maybe he's trying to make an empire, but that one, he only needs three titles to make an empire. Not sure what he's trying to do here. But yeah, we'll keep it as it is. If he dies, then that means the grandson will inherit everything, and he's strong, so that's really good. Um, if he doesn't die, then he inherits most of it, and he'll be hopefully good. Pepin's peace offer. What was the peace? I'm guessing white peace. So there we go. Managed to fight them back. They didn't invade uh, Europe. Uh, he's created the empire. There we go. So we're now under the Empire. Emperor Pepin the Effeminate. Fram Frankia. The Empire of Frankia. He's done it. What a great man he was, Pepin. He'll be remembered by everyone. And we need a Chancellor. That other guy was pretty good for us. This guy hates me because we took his lands. Let's make it Fredenand. Fredenard. Fabricate claims. I guess we could just keep uh, going for her. She's 200 men. Oxitan. Visigothic there. Could go for that one, maybe. I guess we have a claim on this one already, still. Now Visigothic. Huh. Maybe we can just make relations with him. No, there's no point to that. Just, yeah, make a claim. Just keep getting claims, seeing what you can do. We'll just go for that one, because there's Visigoths there. We'll see. We probably won't ever get to use it. How old am I now? 59? We're getting pretty old. We're getting pretty old at the moment. I think we're going to have to end this part here. Yeah. I guess we'll end this... Actually, we'll end this when this war's over. Probably should be going to take that back. We'll go attack them. Take that back. Weaken them. And what is this? Designated regent. I need a new regent. My wife could be a good regent. She is ambitious, though. That's a point. My daughter has cancer. She should be the regent. There we go. We'll make her the regent. That'll be okay, yeah. And we're going to go attack them. Can't believe we made the empire. Frankia. Here we go. We've seen that. We've seen a moment of greatness. Will he be able to defend the Christians against the Muslims in Iberia? Please support a vote me in the council. Has uh, I'm attacking you, so we're going to decline. This guy would also like me to help him vote. I'm going to decline. He would owe me a favor. That could be actually useful in the future, and he is pretty young. Because the king could die. Wait, where's his great pox? His great pox is actually gone. He is a hedonist. Completely now. 
The regent is him, but once he's been taken care of, will he still be the regent? Because he'll lose all his lands. I'm going to decline for now, because I don't know what they're going to be voting on. Could be a vote whether to stop me. 19%. 67%. We'll continue to attack them then. What is this? Would like you to back a plot to kill... Um, Gileam. Which one's Gileam? The heir. Interesting. My daughter-in-law, she's pregnant already. She wants to kill her own brother. Well, I, I... Can I do that to my friend? I mean, I'm friends with him, but I am deceitful. And envious of the fact he's a duchy. Maybe I'd help. I don't know. Is that going too far, though? Because I do some killing his son... So I'm friends with him, but is killing his son going too far? I don't know. I feel like it's... It is. We're going to decline. If he dies, then I will. If not, we can't. Uh, Pedro Bagan proposes that we send more troops. I'll accept this. Son, you need more men? I will send you more men. But you have to finish your fighting. Hey, you're still fighting. You have 600 at the moment. 87%. So we'll go there. Uh, just has brought peace to troubled lands. Very good. I'm very glad to hear that. 94%. I think killing them now will end this. 94%. And they're completely gone now. So that's the end of his men. But he's still at 94%. He still has three men apparently. We'll just go there finish it off. And that will be the end for this part. So we'll have basically everything underneath Toulouse apart from Toulouse. <laughs> We have everything but to lose itself. This is getting pretty ridiculous. Uh, Bavaria's facing a revolt. Claim on Bavaria. Sigismund. He's possessed at the moment. I don't think it's his claim, is it? Now, nah, Faramon's claim. Hmm. I guess he's possessed, so maybe he's just crazy. Like, why would he do it for someone else? Danemark looks the same as before. And no one's really gotten bigger anywhere else. Everyone looks the same. Mostly. 100%. And there we go. Enforce the demands. The war is won. And I have it. Now, why has that appeared? There is measles up here. I think we're safe, though. We don't need to close the gates. We're safe. So with that done, uh, he is now back to normal. I know he does have a regent now. This guy. But he's my friend, of course, so we like him. Uh, the Duke is my friend, but we basically have everything. Everything underneath him is basically mine. No. We have six. We have one too many. I wish I could give some more land to my grandson. That'd be great. Form an alliance. How much difference is it? His political concern is pretty high, though. His brother's okay as well. And what is this? What a favor. What just... Some people are going to war, apparently. To kill, we decline. I'm not going to kill anyone. We're not involved in that sort of thing. Those people are not something we care about. Uh, I'm friends of him. I'm not going to take it from him. No, my son. I'm suspecting if I die, my son won't be friends of him. So my son will probably attack. And they had an attractive daughter. There we go. That is p pretty good. My sons both had a pretty good first child. Um, Cilicia up here. And we're going to end this part here, I think. So, look, there we go. We'll end this part here. Things have been pretty interesting, actually. Our children have done some interesting things. My first son died, sadly, before me. I've had cancer, but because of successful treatments, we seem to be okay. Same as my daughter. But Petro is doing a pretty good job with his company. 500 men. I'm pretty happy with that. And the Umis were defeated. What will next time bring? Will Pepin continue his march to greatness? Or will it fall apart when he dies? Who knows what his son will bring. His son is ambitious, though. But then it's just daughters. Hmm. I wonder. Could we marry the daughter? We have no one to marry. But yeah, maybe in the future. I'll see you guys then.